Greetings of the day folks. Today we are going to discuss about umbilical vein access in neonates. So in general umbilical vein venous catheterization is limited to the first week of the life. So the umbilical vein is continuous with the portal vein. An alternative to umbilical access for neonatal resuscitation is IO placement which may be preferable for those not trained in umbilical access. Umbilical cannulation procedure so in this, you, we use 5 French catheter for term infants and 3.5 French catheter for preterm infants. For emergency access, insert the catheter only 4 to 5 centimeters in depth. Pre-flush the catheter and attach to a stop, closed stop cock connected to a syringe. Use standard iodine-based sterile preparation of the umbilicus and sterile ribs. Tie a string loosely around the skin at the base of the umbilicus. This can be tightened in case of bleeding. Okay, so cut the cord with. So this is how you have to uh, cannulate. So tie the cord, then the vein dilates. Then you insert a vein not too deep. See until here. Okay. 4 to 5 centimeters so okay 4 to 5 centimeters in depth and after that we must tie a strong loosely tie a string loosely around the skin at the base of the uh, umbilicus so this can be tightened in case of bleeding okay so the cut the cord cut the cord with a scalpel approximately 2 centimeters from the abdominal wall identify the vein and arteries two arteries the vein is larger thin walled and usually at the 12 o'clock position so you can see the vein is at the 12 o'clock position the arteries are smaller with a thicker muscular layer and located roughly at four and eight o'clock positions so the vein may be may need to be dilated or thrombosed cleared from the lumen with a small forceps holding the catheter near the tip insert it into the vein checking every centimeter for the blood to return for by drawing a syringe if the resistance is met at the base of this stump loosen the umbilical tie in emergency situations advance the catheter only one to two centimeters beyond the point of good blood return this is typically four to five centimeters from the end of the umbilical stump in a terminally an infant if there is free return of the blood, the line can be used. In this technique, catheter extends only a few centimeters into the abdomen, so radiographic confirmation is not necessary. At that point, tighten the purse string of the umbilical tie and tie it off. A suture may be placed through the stump and tied around the catheter, and the catheter can be held in place manually. So, coming to the complications of the umbilical vein cannulation, the umbilical vein cannulation carries a serious risk which are similar to those for the standard central venous catheters but also include serious complications related to deeper insertion that then should be performed in the emergencies in the ED where the umbilical line is a bridge to other access. Monitor for tachycardia or signs of increasing abdominal distension which suggests vessel or bubble perforation. So if you see here. So this is how we can lead the umbilicus. Thank you very much.